but anyway, today's a bit shorter than usual. Um, ended up going out to St. Monon's on a bit of a dawn patrol, so ended up leaving super, super early. The, the challenge was the weather was just pretty random and erratic, so ended up having to actually pack up the gear because it was just pouring down with rain. Um, however, it did end up producing a pretty decent shot with an actual rainbow in it as well, so I was pretty happy about that. Just to put things in a bit of perspective in relation to where Edinburgh is, so here's Edinburgh and there's St. Monon, so it's a bit of a drive to, to get there. Um, but what I'm just going to show you over here is the thing that I'll actually be shooting here. So you can see this zigzag pier that actually sticks out over here, it's behind this harbour wall. Um, it's pretty hidden, so you wouldn't even know it was there if you, you didn't actually climb up onto the wall. So I'll, I'll take you through exactly what it takes to actually take this shot. Hey, it's it's an early start today here, so it's it's 4 a.m. Um, I've just pulled up the car. Um, got a bit of a game plan to go and go across the St. Moments to to try and catch the sunrise. So um, it's a place that I've been to before. Um, it's quite cool with a, a a pier that's in a zigzag type of fashion that goes out into the sea, so you can take good long exposure shots with. Quite dramatic effect so I've, I've been there a number of times now but every single time I go the the photo ends up being different so I'm I've never caught it at sunrise so I'm hoping I'm gonna get something a little bit different today so it's gonna take me about an hour and a half to get there um, so hopefully the coffee starts to kick in sometime soon So last we just arrived at St. Monon's. Um, not really convinced that the sunrise is going to be anything amazing because I'm actually a little bit late. And you can probably see in the background over here. Um, there's not much color in this guy, so I'm going to go and take the shot regardless, just because it's a very good location. So what you can see over here is it's it's a little seaside town um, with a harbor over here. Now. What I'm going to show you is the, there's actually a harbour wall and you wouldn't even know that this pier is behind it. It's, it's kind of a bit of a water break. Um, so it's pretty unique and ends up just zigzagging out into the sea. So I'll just take you through as I just drop up onto the harbour wall and just show you what the actual view looks like. It's pretty windy this morning actually, um, at least it's pretty warm, so for Scotland 15 degrees in the morning is actually pretty good, so I'm not complaining. Um, hopefully the wind's going to get a bit of movement in the clouds and the, the actual waves as well, so you can see over here I'm at the actual harbour wall. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to climb up this ladder over here. So just over the top of this ladder is actually this pier. There you go. It's pretty stunning actually. So I'm just going to actually just set up on the hub wall over here, get the tripod set up and then get the composition sort it out so I can get a get a shot. weather's pretty bad it's it's raining on and off so at one point there was actually a big rainbow going out over sea um, 
I've actually just got the camera covered up at the moment just because of the rain so I'm just trying to protect the gear over there right now um, what I have been doing is taking a couple of shots so I've got my Lee Big stopper out so it's a 10 stop ND filter and I've, I've got a shutter speed of 1 minute 15 seconds so what, what that's doing is it's actually just smoothing out the waves in the sea over here to just make it a little bit misty So I ended up getting a pretty decent shot, so pretty happy with that. Um, so I took the shot using aperture setting of f8, ISO 100, and the exposure was 1 minute 15 seconds, so pretty happy with it. I, I actually just managed to catch it as the, the rising sun actually just caught the, the actual side of the pier. Unfortunately, the rain's just rolling in here, so I'm probably going to actually end up packing up and actually moving on to the next location. Um, this is always a good spot, so if you can actually make it across here, it's, it's a cross in, cross in Fife, St. Monans. Um, you just need to actually just find this harbour wall and actually just jump over the top of it, so there's actually just a little ladder over here. Um, pretty happy with the shot, so I'll, I'll move on to the next location.